What's up guys, welcome back to Run With Jay channel. So today we have another apparel review of the 2020 Nike Aeroswift shorts. So these are the newest running shorts available from Nike. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the specs, see what I like and dislike about these, and see if these are worth your hard-earned money. So if you guys are new to this channel, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your contribution and support. So let's get this review started. So the 2020 Nike Aero Swift shorts came out earlier in the spring of 2020 and they're part of Nike Aero Swift's line which is the higher end line that a lot of athletes use uh, for racing so a lot of these clothes are meant for racing purposes and these Nike Aero Swift shorts that I have are the 5 inch inseam ones. Um, they do release options for a 4 inch inseam and also a 2 inch inseam however you know I felt like those other two options were a little bit too short for me so I went with a 5 inch inseam which basically just hits uh, above the knee just like any running tights out there so uh, that's my personal preference I know you guys can you know if you like a shorter shorts or a 4 inch you know you, there's options for that as well so these shorts cost $80 full price but I leave there's sales on these now since we're going into colder months and usually they release a new version every year for these pants so these shorts also have a split hem and a five inch inseam that helps you keep moving naturally in your stride it also has the fly vent waistband just like a lot of other nike aero swift products um, also like the running tights that i reviewed earlier um, that has the waistband to give you more breathability as well as comfort and the materials that make up these pairs of shorts is uh, on the body it's 100 percent polyester on the waistband and the mesh lining, it's about 89% recycled polyester and 11% spandex. And also the front lining has 84% recycled polyester and 16% spandex. So this is also uh, another product that Nike is using um, as part of their initiative to use more um, to help the environment by using recycled fabric. And if you're curious about the weight of these shorts, these weigh at about 3.8 ounces uh, for a medium. So um, very light, uh, even lighter compared to the Aero Swift tights that I reviewed earlier. Um, you know, this basically feels like there's nothing on you when you're wearing this. Super comfortable. Um, there's, you know, there's a few things that I don't like about it. But overall, if you like a split, you know, hem shorts and you want something very light and comfortable that has dry fit technology as well, these are definitely a great option to look into. Um, when I these are also available in multi colors, so I have this blue version here, but they also have colors like the black, um, the lime green. They also have a dark green. So there's a tons of color colors out there, and uh, they sell these on Nike.com as well as other retailers that sell Nike products. Also, the waistband, just like uh, the new Aeroswift products, are very nicely done. They have tons of holes which also has dry fit material to help wick away sweat so you know you don't feel any uh, pinching or anything around your waist and these don't leave any marks or anything either uh, so you don't have to worry about that. So these shorts are made with dry fit technology just like a lot of other Nike products and they also come with an internal brief liner so you, if you choose not to wear any underwear with these you can definitely wear these without anything on. So what do I like about these shorts? These shorts are very comfortable for sure and the dry fit material that's used for these shorts will make the sweat wicking very easy. Um, you know, After a while you don't really feel the sweat on your body but after a long run you'll definitely see it on these pants so they wick sweat very well just like any other of the Aeroswift products. Another thing that I like, uh, there's also internal drawstring in here uh, just like any other tights but there's also four very small pockets. Um, on both sides so there's two in the front and two in the back which are very neat and nice to have so you can definitely fit like a credit card even on here and they're great for holding change or you know keys for your car or anything like that and inside of these tiny pockets they're lined with the vapor fabric to prevent um, you know the item getting wet from your sweat which is really neat also the, the split hem on the sides is also very nicely done uh, I didn't have any restrictions to my stride while running so people uh, mostly buy these shorts because of that so I really like that feature and you know 
overall I wanted a pair of shorts that you know it's good for summer running hotter weather and also that didn't restrict my stride and this does all of that and then you can use these for short races or even long marathon races and they should hold up fine and these are true to size as well so if you have Nike products pants or shorts and other um, in sizes and I would go with those same sizes these aren't small or slim fit or anything so true to size would be fine for these so a couple of things I don't like about these tights and um, maybe that's just my own personal uh, experience is the briefs that they use for these are not very comfortable um, you know after a while you could definitely feel some um, chafing at least in my experience going on down there so um, they definitely did change these for the Nike Aeroswift tights uh, that I really enjoy running in uh, but in these tights, in my opinion, there's a lot of, I don't know why, but it feels like there's, you know, there's chafing issues for these. So uh, that's one thing that has steered me away from buying these again if I had an option. And another thing, just like any other Nike products, is the cost. So $80, again, for a pair of running shorts is a definitely a steep price to pay. Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, it could be personal opinion if you think that's worth it or not, but you know, if money is not an issue, I think these are probably one of the best running, uh, shorts you can get out there right now. Um, dry fit technology works very well, super light and super comfortable. They're about 3.8 ounces. So, you know, even lighter than the Aero Swift tights and they're just about an ounce, uh, heavier, uh, to your, you know, real basic running, you know, uh, Nike racing tights that they have out there. And compared to regular shorts, or you know, they're five ounces or higher, so these are super light. I think eighty dollars might be a little bit much for these shorts. Uh, if there were maybe like fifty or forty dollars, I'll probably you know snag a few again in the future. But I think um, knowing this and having the issues with chafing, I'll probably go with the Nike Aero Swift tights, uh, in my opinion. But I'm more of a tights person, anyways, compared to running shorts. Uh, you might not have the same problem that I might have, but that's something to look out for if you do uh, purchase these. These are a great option for racing tights or any types of runs. So uh, available at Nike or any other retailers that sells these shorts. And I believe there are sales on these right now since we're heading into winter months. So yeah, if you guys have any other comments, feedback, or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I hope you enjoy this quick video on this review of the 2020 Nike Aeroswift shorts. Um, hopefully you guys, I answer some of your questions that you might have had if you're looking into buying these uh, especially since they're on sale right now. So if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Hope you guys are doing well and your training's going great. And I'll talk to you guys on the next run.